Hong Kong, Hong Kong police fired tear gas a few minutes into 2020 as pro-democracy protesters marked the new year with midnight countdown rallies and a massive march planned for January 1. The city has been battered by more than six months of unrest with marches attended by millions as well as confrontations in which police have fired tear gas and rubber bullets and protesters have responded with petrol bombs. Before midnight on Tuesday, thousands of protesters gathered across the financial hub, including along the waterfront of Victoria Harbour and at nightlife hotspot Lan Kwai Fong. Protesters at the harbour front counted down chanting, 10. 9. Liberate Hong Kong, Revolution Now, as they lit up their phones in a sea of lights. Smaller crowds of protesters in the Mong Kok district set fire to barricades before riot police unleashed 2020's first volleys of tear gas in response. Shortly before the final day of 2019 drew to a close police had used water cannon to disperse protesters in the same area while in nearby Prince Edward neighborhood. Officers arrested several protesters staging a candlelight vigil. Earlier in the evening, thousands of people linked arms in human chains that stretched for miles along busy shopping streets and through local neighborhoods. They chanted slogans, sang, Glory to Hong Kong, a protest anthem, and held up posters calling for people to fight for democracy in 2020. Thanks to 2019, which tore off the ugly masks of the police and the government and let the people see the truth," said protester Chris Medic who joined protest. The movement is kind of like at its bottleneck now. Hopefully a huge turnout at tomorrow's march could bring back people's passion, he added. The city's traditional New Year Eve's bumper fireworks display was cancelled due to safety concerns. But a light show and smaller-scale fireworks took place instead.